Howdy and welcome. The 240JZ is nearly complete and now it's finally time to put it to the test. So today we're doing a time trial, which is a time focused track event and it's hosted by the SCCA. It's located at Bader Field, which is this massive old airport that rarely gets used and it's in New Jersey. Also, I'm not going this event alone. My dad and younger brother are doing this time trial as well, but they're not driving this, they're driving my dad's Ford Focus RS. But that's enough of me talking, let's hit the road. Yeah, boy. We're going to the race! Woo! Up ahead is my dad and brother in the RS, so pretty sick. We have made it to the event. They're getting the uh, RS ready, but pretty good turnout, pretty good turnout. Here's Beta Field. Absolutely gorgeous day. What's happening? How are we feeling? Hey, welcome. Looking good. Welcome to Atlantic City. Welcome to Atlantic City. Well, that one's even better. Casinos yeah. across the way there. All right, so we're here at the event. Oh, that's toasty. Ouch. I am super, super nervous. This is like the first time I started the car. I had the same uh, butterflies in the stomach because anything could happen. Piston could go to the stratosphere. The course is all set up, so we're gonna go walk the course uh, so that we get, you know, get an idea of what it looks like. And then I think someone said that we do what's called a parade lap, which is just a low speed kind of lap around the course uh, to, to, again, get an idea of, of the layout and stuff. And then it's uh, time to race, so. Wait, wait, I got the final touch for you. What's the final touch? Ah, uh, Williams Racing. Williams Racing. My last name's Williams, so for those of you that were unaware. All right, guys, we are in the staging line for the parade lap. Uh, heart is beating out of the chest, but I'm, I'm stoked. We've got uh, my brother is in front of us. You can see everybody's lined up. There's everybody over there. Big sweeper, big sweeper. Big break. Let's throw it in late. Hit the apex, come around. Lots of geese poop, that's great. It's gonna be fun to clean up. Little chicane action. Throw it in. temperature there I'm I'm excited I'm excited we've got our high and low boost mode here I think we're just gonna send it on high boost for the first run hopefully everything goes well and it looks like we're staging up for our first run here oh yeah this is it my wife and my wife's family part of them showed up so that's super exciting
Uh, oil temp shot up. Holy cow. It's too fast. Holy crap. control it. It's so scary. It's just, it spins everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath. I'm breathless.
40 there. Uh, that run was a bit slower. There we go, that was a bad start. It's just, um, I am having a hard time. I turned it, the boost down. I'm having a hard time controlling it. That was fun. I'm like drenched in sweat. Our coolant tank. And when it was idling, I'm like, huh, sounds like a spicy SR. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man. And as soon as it launched, I'm like, that's no SR. That's definitely I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Hey, how, how are we? So, Good. thanks for coming out today. It's just a little tiny. Are you having a fun time? Yes, I am. Are you having a fun time? Well, guys, the time. And I couldn't be happier that the car is just still in one piece. We had some leaks out of the coolant overflow reservoir, power steering reservoir, and the brake master, but that's okay. I think I just overfilled the power steering reservoir and the brake master, uh, so I'm just going to take some fluid out and we should be good to go. In fact, I might be uh, upgrading the brake fluid instead of DOT3, which is what's in there now. I'm going to go to some high temperature track brake fluid, which should definitely help because I think it may have been overheating and possibly boiling a little bit uh, out there on track. So coming up next for this car, I'm gonna be racing in an autocross event with it and I have no idea how it's gonna do there. Uh, I had trouble just keeping it on track at the time trial, so I can't even, even imagine trying to navigate cones. So that'll be interesting. But in terms of modifications, the car is nearly complete. Like I said, we have that LSD that we're gonna be throwing in the rear. And then the drivability is completely done. I don't want to touch anything else in terms of how the car drives. However, coming up this winter, I'm hoping if I can pinch my pennies, um, we've got a ton of aesthetic, aesthetic, aesthetic modifications to the car. If you don't know, we're doing a Type X conversion on this thing. Uh, you can't see it, but out of frame, I've got the full Type X kit from Japan, front bumper, side skirts, rear wing, Bo works. It's gonna be sick. So I think that's all I wanted to say. Uh, thank you again for sticking around, guys, uh, and coming on this journey with me. And 